So you want to get your first job. Well, you came to the right place because I've had many and I've gotten fired by many and I've gotten let off by many. This is how I got fired from Walmart for stealing a TV. But I've also been hired at many. This is why I'm going to tell you my advice. Y'all want to start working. That's awesome. Making money is probably like one of the like main pillars in a guy's life and even like girls lives. So Y'all need to make money. It's one of the most important things. Do not tell me it's not important. The people that say money is not important are the people that are broke. Let's be honest. Money is awesome. I used to be freaking broke. But now that I got, I'm making five figures a month from TikTok content creation. Like I can say that honestly, I sleep better. I, the grass is greener. Like everything's just better when you got money. Don't be ashamed to find a way to make more money. But uh, before I even get into the video uh, on how to get a job, let me just make this clear. I don't like telling people what are the best jobs. I think it's best guys always just to make your own money, whether it's starting a business, reselling stuff. Uh, you know, uh, Amazon FBA, drop shipping, uh, UGC, UGC creation, all of those things, guys, making your own money, it's better because you don't have to go clock in. You're not capped at an hourly rate. Um, and, and like, it's so scalable to have your own business. But, uh, but I'm, of course, there's some of y'all that it's too risky for y'all to not uh, start a business. You know, it, it's too risky for y'all. So, for some of you, it's too risky to start a business. So I understand why you guys want just a secure job, especially if you're like in high school and you just want a part-time thing. That's totally fine. You guys can... But you guys can make a lot of money working a job if you just leverage it correctly. So here are my, my, my tips. Guys, when I got my first job, it was at McDonald's. I was like 15 or 16. Uh, I was living in like New Mexico and there was like nothing around there where I was living. So the closest place I worked, uh, the, the closest place around me was literally uh, McDonald's. So I went to go work there. Uh, I remember when I when I applied, uh, I was very nervous, but uh, what, what I did was I put my availability uh, like full, even though that was not true, because I knew that they weren't gonna hire me if I was only gonna want to work two days. So don't, when you go apply to a job, don't go and apply with only, you know, two days that you want to work. They're not going to hire you. They want people that want to be there and work. So when you apply to any job, just put that you're available all day, every day. They're going to be like, okay, this is great. And they're going to want to call you first. So that's the first thing. You're full availability. Uh, the second thing is, is when you go, uh, when, when you go apply, make sure you call the manager. You want to call them and tell them your name and be like, Hey, I applied. Can you, can you look at my application? Like, is there a good time that I can interview or is there a good time I could come in so we could talk about the job application? Uh, that way you can, you know, get in front of the manager and, and tell them that you're interested. It, it makes you stand out. A lot of people apply and then they don't really do anything. And then they wonder like, oh, why didn't I get this job? It's like, well, you need to like make a connection with the manager, the hiring manager. So go into the story. Like even at Walmart, that's how I got my job. I walked in, asked for the manager, we talked, and then I put in my application they hired me. And you know, that's a human connection. It's easier to get hired that way. Uh, so go into the store, go talk to the manager. Um, and then also if they don't, if you don't want to go in person, just call them, call them like constantly bother them. Make sure that they're like, that you have them wanting to call you back. Uh, cause you want to get in their face guys. And, and you don't want to be too annoying, but you want to get to a point where like they know who you are and they know that you're, that you're available. Uh, and then if they do hire you guys, you want to make sure that, uh, they can, uh, well, you, you want to make sure that number one, when you go in, uh, to the interview, uh, you just want to like dress nicely, just dress like you dress like you're not a bum. Honestly, dress nicely, um, smell good, you know, brush your teeth, do your hair, like actually put in some work. So, so that they can see that, you know, you care about the, the, the interview. If they, if they see that you're kind of like half assing the interview, they're gonna be like, uh, I don't know if we should hire this person. They don't seem serious. Uh, so go in there looking nice and then, uh, go in there early. Do not go in late, bro. That's going to be like the worst thing. They're gonna be like, dude, this guy's late to the interview. Imagine him like being late into the shifts. So don't be late, go in there, shake your hand, uh, relax. Well, a lot of people ask me like, Oh, what should I say in the interview? Like guys, they're going to just ask you about your availability to confirm. And they're just going to see if you're not crazy. If you can do those two things, confirm your availability and act like you're not crazy. You're going to get hired. It's not a big deal, especially if it's your a job in high school. They're not looking for job experience. You don't have to go in a res with a resume. Okay. A lot, I get a lot of hate for this, but you don't have to go in with a resume guys. Just go in with your contact info and you dress in nice and prepared. You're going to get hired at the job interview. The only thing they ask you anyways is number one, like if you have experience before, uh, why you want to work at the job and like, you know, like things like if you work good with people or like what position, what do you want? Just try to get the job guys. Try to be as easy going as possible. You know, just breathe, like literally just wait for them to say something. You don't have to like, I feel like people that are nervous, they talk too much and then they feel like they're going to mess up. So just remember like, wait for them to say something and then just slowly talk. Don't talk too fast. Don't talk too much. Just, just like act like they're your bro. That's literally what I do. when I get nervous around people. I just act like they're my homie and my, my 
brain completely flips. Um, but after you get the job interview, uh, they're going to like probably put you in training and they're going to ask for your schedule. So obviously when you guys applied, I told you guys put full availability for me, obviously I couldn't do that. I was in school. So just tell them at the, uh, at the interview, like, yeah, like I can work every day, but like, you know, I have work at this certain, or I have a school at this certain time. So like I can come like right after school. Sometimes I get mad, but like, honestly, like if you're already there and you're like, you know, doing a good job at the interview they're gonna hire you they'll just put you in the in a good spot for the schedule and if not then you know like it's whatever bro like they're gonna call you back eventually or you can just tell them like you can maybe fix something at work or something or, or at school so that you can maybe change your hours but especially if you're in college but uh other than that guys i would recommend like places that have really good uh flexible schedules like higher end jobs so like fast food's a little harder but i would think like walmart things like amazon like places like target like they 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 are more uh susceptible to like hire people in different times um i would say like fast food bro they're gonna want to like anything food related i feel like they're gonna want to want you to be all day so they're gonna get mad if you if you like lie um but for example uh walmart bro like they change my schedule fa fairly easily it's because they have so many employees that like they're okay with you having a short little schedule other than that guys that's literally how you get your first job like just take all these tips and you're gonna get hired remember guys don't be tripped out about just applying to one apply to everyone and and uh, let me be honest guys it's 2023 do not be applying to jobs that are not even paying you 15 at least i would say shoot for like the 20s bro i know amazon hires at like 22 dollars an hour walmart is starting to go to 18 to 20 like go to those places bro like it's not even worth it like getting paid 15 dollars an hour like get paid more shoot for more like if not then go start a business guys like it's so easy to make 50 to 100 dollars a day nowadays like with all the stuff that you can do online like it's not even worth working a job if you're not going to make that type of money uh but always shoot to make like you know two to three k on a business like that's a that's enough money to survive in this world two thousand three thousand dollars is a, more than enough especially if you like move out and get roommates oh man you're chilling yeah I, I, if you guys know i worked at mcdonald's my first job i got hired there super easily a fast food places want to hire you like this uh, i also worked at walmart walmart like hires everybody i got i got in through a friend but at the same time like i was calling i went in the store to meet them like like i was still pushing myself to get in there i also worked at pyology uh and then i i, I got fired well we kind of got like let go for like after two weeks because of covid and i ended up getting unemployment benefits so like i was making a lot of money <laughs> without even going to work uh i also worked at um uh uh, my recent job was Lowe's and that's where I got viral on TikTok for. I freaking walked out of my job after I started going viral, started getting money from TikTok. And um, that was an awesome place too. Uh, I was in Garden Center. So if you're going to go to Walmart, try to get in like gar Garden Center or like uh, electronics, like things that like there's multiple people in your department and also like there's not a lot of people in the department like people that go uh, a lot of people don't go to lawn and garden like it does get busy but like if you can get an early shift where you just like water plants or like a late shift where you're closing where you water plants like it's such an easy job like, it's you have to find a job that you can milk as like easy as possible you don't want a job that's hard don't go into a job where they're gonna just freaking work you like a slave go to a job where like you know like you can chill and like put your headphones in like uh and then especially like dealing with managers like go to a go to a place that like you know like the managers are chill at you know like talk to your friends like ask your friends like what are on some awesome places to work at like talk to your homies that already have jobs and like try to get them to work with you you know it's like that's that's how you make like your job life easier bro like you gotta like it's survival of the fittest bro like you're trying to make money but like make it as easy and lazy as possible but if not go start a business guys like i've made videos on how to flip cars like i've made we have a discord where we're like teaching how to make money like dude it's really not hard to make money nowadays but um like i said guys if you're like 16 15 17 18 trying to get like trying to start making some money shoot for a high paying job put your full availability you know call them get that freaking job and save your goddamn money bro don't freaking waste it it's not worth wasting your money bro save up for a car you know save up for your first apartment like get a credit card use it build credit like do those things in high school do those things in your early 20s so that you can be financially like secure a lot of people don't think about all this stuff until they're in their late 30s but i, I feel like i'm getting off track though but that's literally it for the video. I hope you guys can get a job. I hope this helps. Uh, I'm going to be posting a lot of like real life uh, advice on this channel. So I'm going to be posting more stuff soon. Uh, and then of course, TikTok, bro, we're about to hit 170,000, which is insane. Um, and yeah, I just can't wait for this, for this channel to grow. Honestly, I'm so excited. I just need to learn how to post more and get a YouTube editor. But for now, it'll be short videos like this. But anyways, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Check me out on all my platforms and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.